everyone. You're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 6 to power x times 6 to power x. This is equal to 60. What is the value of x? Now, let's prevent a solution here. This exponential equation is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which you can express as a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 6 to the power x plus x. This is equal to 60. So this implies that we have 6 to the power x plus x. This is 2x. This is equal to 60. So to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So here we have log 6 to the power 2x. This is equal to log 60. Now, log 6 to the power 2x, this is in the form of log a to the power n, which you can express as n log a. Applying this power rule property, then you find that log 6 to the power 2x becomes 2x log 6. This is equal to log 60. Now, the next step is to divide here by rock 6 and also here by rock 6. So let's simplify here. Rock 6 and rock 6 simplifies. So we have 2x. This is equal to rock 60 over rock 6. The next step is we can express 60 basically as 6 times 10. Substituting this, we have 2x. This is equal to rog. This is 6 times 10 divided by rog 6. So rog 6 times 10, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have 2x is equal to rog. 6 divided by rock 6 here, then plus rock 10 divided by rock 6. So let's simplify here. Rock 6 and rock 6 simplifies we have 1. So we have 2x is equal to 1 plus this is rock 10 over rock 6. Now we have 2x is equal to 1 plus rock 10 over rock 6. We can express 10 as 5 times 2. Substituting this, we have here 2x is equal to 1 plus this is rock 5 times 2 divided by rock 6. Therefore, we have here 2x. This is equal to 1 plus, now this is rock 5 times 2 divided by rock 6. This implies that rock 5 times 2, this is in the form of rock A times B, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. Applying this logarithm property, then again we have 2x is equal to 1 plus this is rock 5 over rock 6 then plus rock 2 divided by rock 6. Now from here we have that rock 5 over rock 6 this is in the form of rock a divided by rock b which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, applying this logarithm property, here we have 2x is equal to 1 plus, this is rock 5 to base 6, then plus rock 2 to base 6. Let's divide both signs here by 2, so that now we have that x is equal to half plus half rog 5 to base 6 then plus half 
log 2 to base 6. This is the value of x. Now we have that this is the value of x. Of which you can, since a half is common here, we can express this x as a half into the parentheses. This is 1 plus log 5 to base 6, then plus log 2 to base 6. So this is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. So if you recall here, we end at 6 to the power x times 6 to the power x. This should give us a value of 60. Now, we think that this is in the form of a to the power n times a to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then this is 6 to the power x plus x. This should give us a value of 60. So this implies here we have 6 to the power x plus x. This is 2x. This should give us a value of 60. Now, given that 6 to the power 2x, this should give us a value of 60. Let's substitute the value of x. So we have 6 raised to the power 2 times the value of x, which is half. Into the parentheses, we have 1 plus log 5 to be 6, then plus log 2 to be 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, let's simplify here. 2 and 2 simplifies. So we have 6 raised to power 1 plus this is log 5 to be 6, then plus this is log 2 to be 6. This should give us a value of 60. Now, 6 to power 1 plus log 5 to be 6 plus log 2 to be 6. This is in the form of a to power n plus m, which we can express as a to power n times a to power m. Applying this exponent property, then this is the same thing as 6 to power 1 times 6 to power log 5 to be 6 times 6 to power log 2 to be 6. This should give us a value of 60. Now, we have that 6 raised to the power of 5 to base 6. This is in the form of m raised to the power of a to base m. This should give us a value of a. Therefore, 6 raised to the power of 5 to base 6, this is equal to 5. And 6 raised to the power of 2 to base 6, this should give us a value of 2. So this implies that if we substitute this, we'll have 6 times 5, then times 6 to the power of 2 to base 6, which is 2. This should give us a value of 60. So now we have here 6 times 5. This is actually equal to 30. Then times this 2. This should give us a value of 60. So that times 2 here, this is actually equal to 60, and this is equal to 60 from here. So that means that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this implies that the value of x, which is a half into the parentheses, 1 plus rock 5 to be 6 plus rock 2 to be 6, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.